Hustle YouTube. Today I'm here for another video, and I have a question for everyone watching this video. Do you like it when I, like, have commentary in my videos, or not? Like, do you like when I'm silent, or do you like it when I, like, talk like this? Just tell me your answer in the comments below. You can say anything. Like, I don't care. It won't offend me. Anything. As long as you guys are, like, sticking with my videos and stuff. I am happy and grateful for you, but let's start the review. Okay, so the tank rolls pretty well on fabric, but does not roll well on, like, smoother surfaces, like hardwood floor or, like, tile. But then this thing has unlimited 360-degree turret rotation, but be careful because the turret actually comes off pretty easy. Yeah, sometimes it actually gets stuck on a little lip right here. You just kind of barely lift it up and then... Keep rolling it around. You see the turret coming off already. Eh, so I don't really try to turn the turret in a 360 like that. Don't think it really appreciates that. But right here on the sound stutz. German. It's called Mschuschen Stutz. These things open up. These two sides do. The middle one doesn't open up because, I mean, it does not open up because it needs to, like, hold in. And also, how would it open up? Like, would it open up from the top? Like, would it come up like this? I want to be like side like, like that. But the point is, this thing also opens up. Kind of hard to grab and pull open. But then you can get access to the track and the wheel rollers. But let's see. What else we got? It's got these little movable headlights in the front that don't glow up. Just so you know. And then in the back here, it's got these little hatches I can open up two separate pieces this one's bigger and this accesses the engine you'll see the engine better later on because I'll, I'll soon do the entire interior of the tank for the engine part but yeah it's got like boxes and um i forgot what these rack things in the back were called but yeah and if you're asking why that looks kind of chewed up bitten not bitten but yeah bitten i guess because I saw it, it would be a smart idea to try to use pliers. Because trying to get this pole into here, it's super hard. Like, it's super hard. So I tried to use pliers to get it in. But I maybe should have put something over the pliers so it didn't damage us. But it just kind of looks like bullet merch. I just pretend. I don't really think about it too much, though. Because then it bothers me. But, yeah. It's got 50 caliber ammo crates up here. Two hatches that open. This one, this one that my finger's on, comes off easy. So, I don't, like usually try to open it that much this one though is a strong one but this is a gunner's hatch it doesn't have an interior but it's just a gunner can fit in. it's got an lmg right here light machine gun and then the commander or the commander yeah commander's hatch has a browning 50 cal heavy machine gun on the top and then on the sides of the turret this little smoke grenade launcher deployer things whatever you want to call them there's a little periscope right here and then right here, I don't even know what this is. Is it another periscope or what's this thing then? Don't know. That's what confused me though. I also don't know what these little red light stud things are for. But it's something probably related to a real tank. But remember, this is an actual set. This is an actual set. You can buy it. It's called Kazi K-A-Z-I M1A2 Abrams. Just type that into Google search or something. But now we can move on to the interior. No, it doesn't look like much of the interior. Oh yeah, just so I know, the reason these little wheels are here is because they're recoil absorbers. When the gun fires out here, this is like to recoil. It doesn't actually work like that with the set, but it does in reality. But this is also a little... That's the driver right there. There he is. You can see his little head. Ah, sorry, it's blurry right there. And then these are three periscopes, these three little, um, one by one by three, one, one by one by ones squares are periscopes. The real one, this one's for night vision, this one's standard, and this one's, like, bad weather and infrared. That's what each one of these three things are for. But now we can get on to the interior of the tank. Just so you know, these are custom little heat rounds I made in a different video I made. I just put them in the Abrams, because the Abrams has heat rounds. That's what they fire, and they look like this. Yeah, remember those from the other video? But. Let's put those out there. And this is, like, a belt. It's pretty cool. It goes with this guy right here. Didn't mean to drop you, dude, but. 
you're okay. This guy's got little flip up night vision goggles. They're just down so it preserves space. And this is like a commander guy. He doesn't actually come with this handgun in the set. This is just a custom 44 I found in my Lego pieces. So I'd use that. And if you're wondering what this is for, these little like pole thingies coming out. Not only one are they annoying to try to put back in like that, you can tell I was trying to put them back in. But. Alrighty, so I'll show you the engine hatch now, and then the front hatch where the gunner is. Not gunner, driver. But when you open up this hatch, you gotta like hold the back here. Because I'll show you if you don't. Okay, maybe it doesn't do it when you open it, but if you like don't hold it when you close it, it falls off. So if you, any of you guys watching this video get the set, remember when you're closing this to like keep a finger here so it doesn't fall down while pushing it. But this is the engine room. It's actually pretty cool. It's got a little mechanism you can turn this thing in. Turns that little thing in there. It's got this little pipe or wire hydraulic hydraulic tube. And then these two engine turbines. The thing is the M1 Abrams, M1A2, because this is technically an M1A2 Abrams, it has two jet engines in it. And that's why it sounds like a rail gun when it's when it's like turning on or charging up, whatever you want to call it. But no, because this part, like this front hatch where the driver is, isn't actually supposed to open. But I find out a way you can open it. You just gotta do what I show you. You gotta take off these little pieces right here. Just put them on the side like that, so you can remember how they went. But then you gotta put up these headlights right here, so they're like up like this. You gotta get your fingernail under here if you have any. Open this up. Oh yes, remember this is how you access the driver. And then this entire thing right here should just come right off. Yeah, don't worry, it comes on easy. There we go. There's the driver. So basically this is the entire tank opened up. It's actually pretty cool. This is what the driver actually looks like, like what its seat looks like in the real tank. This right here, because the M1 Abrams doesn't have pedals to drive, it's actually got these two little bars right here that the driver actually grabs and like turns. It's kind of like a motorcycle, like this thing where you like turn to accelerate and deaccelerate, and then he just turns it to turn the entire tank. It turns a lot more than it's in reality, but then it's just got this little lever to probably a stick shift or something. I don't know. But then here he is right here. He's got little flip up goggles. He looks aggressively aggressive. Looks like he wants to run over some enemies with his tank. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing weighs like 50-something tons in reality as well. But then these are little screens here. Because the tank's got a lot of screens on the inside. And that's what also this little white thing right here is for on the part that I took off the top. The tank's got a few screens in it. So the driver can also see more around it. Like the driver can see more than just the like cone or tunnel vision outside of it or funnel vision yeah because the driver's got like a 45 degree like look out of the if its surroundings it like looks like that out you can't look really to its sides but the screens help it so it can but then remember how to close this thing you put your finger here so it does not do what it did earlier it's like that close this nice and steady then you gotta take this thing if you want to put the driver back it just fits here. Like these little pieces right here. The little gray studs here. Just go right here. Then you push it down. If it can go down. Let's go. Everything gets pushed down. All comes together really beautifully. Then you take those little pieces we took off first. And they go here. Like one stud away right here. So this piece can go back on top. So then you take the second one. Put it in like that. And then you take this front access hatch and just goes right back onto the front. Now you can put your headlights back down. Now only the interior center area of the tank is exposed. But then you can just put your guys back in there how you want to. Oh yeah. Also one thing, this binocular dude they do with the night vision, like because the binocular is two of the three vision ports are more like they come off easy so that's why i kind of just keep them in here so he can't come off also i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a bad guy like an antagonist in the set 
But he looks like an American army general, if you ask me. So I just threw him in the tank and gave him a handgun. Kind of looks like General Shepard from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. He's got the 44. He's got the little, um... I forgot what these are called again. Whatever these little hat thingies, beanies, not beanies. Whatever these are called again. He Shepard's got one of those. But Shepard's also a bad guy. He's throwing knife in his eyeball at the end of the campaign. No spoilers there. It's kind of a spoiler. <laughs> then you put this in here. Because, like, sometimes this gets caught right on the slip. So you kind of got, like, yeah, put it in, like, side like this. And just put it down, kind of. So I might have to finick with this a bit. Sorry. All right, there we go. Maybe. Is it going in? Yeah, I think it's going in. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. There we go. Just push everything down like this. Make sure it's all steady and secure. I didn't put the heat around in there. There we go. Good as new. Okay. Are you serious? I also didn't put this in there. Yeah, screw it. I'll just do that at the end of the review. After I turned on my video. You gotta, like, kind of move it around and try to locate the little thing. There we go. Turn it in. Mm-hmm. But then the set also came with one more extra little prop. It's kind of cool. This thing. The set came with this. It's like a building. And... It comes with these guys, too, and their weapons. It does not come with this RPG-7 you just saw on the side. That was a tutorial I made, like, a few hours ago. After, before this video was posted. But then this is the building. It's like a straight rubble building. Kind of looks cool. And then this dude up here. He's got an RPG-7. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not the V2. This is the V2. RPG-7 V2. It's got, like, a bigger sight. They're, like, look better. That's why it's the V2 version 2, but then it's got a little piece of dynamite in the back right here, and it's got this guy. You can get him out. So his grenade launcher is actually pretty cool. It's a really high detailed. Just try to focus the camera. Focus. There we go. Whatever. But then the grenade launcher, actually, the drum can spin open like this. If it can. There we go. Yeah, it can actually open up because it's got a little clip right up here. Probably can't see, but oh wait, yeah, you can see a little clip. It helps it slide in. And then it's also got a little trash can outside, and it's got a um three sandbags right here. I guess you can take the sandbag and put them in this basket part back here. That'd be kind of cool. You can just move it around. That's basically the review, though. This thing takes about. It took me about like I'd say like three and a half hours to build this tank. It sucked so packed with details it takes a decent while to build if you're like a skilled quick builder you know like me i have been building lego and other creations like that lego and other brands like that mega blocks and kobe sets and kasi right there but i've been building sets like that for years as you can tell my shelf and collection oh yeah that's a huge harvester destiny 2 i think it took me three days to build Yep, you know, I got a huge collection of Legos. But, it's basically the review. This thing, I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5. The only reason I'd be taking out 0.5 is because, remember how easy this turret comes off? I can't say I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 because this part has teeth on it. Not teeth. It looks like it's got bite marks in it. But that's my fault. It's not the set's fault my fault for trying to use a pair of pliers so if you do use a pair of pliers put like a paper napkin or something over it because i had to do the same thing with this but my dad showed me if you put a napkin over it like over the bar like wrap a napkin around it then use the pliers it actually doesn't make the teeth mark so basically it's a before right here and an after right here see no teeth mark so remember that if you get the set and are having trouble putting this bowl in Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is probably some sort of like a little radio pack, or like survival pack or something, because Abrams are very well-built structurally tanks. They're very favored by the U.S. Army. Oh, it's the end of the video. Hope I hit 2.8k views like I did this uh, 
North Star Part 2. I'm surprised that thing actually hit that much views, though. I'm expect- I'm- Um- Surprised you guys liked it that much. I mean, I thought it was really cool. It's definitely the best creation I've made by myself. Like, best creation. Without instructions. Yes, that was custom. No Star was. That's basically it. Well, goodbye. See you for another video.